Hello, Richard here. And today I'm gonna to show you a really easy way to set the center height on a lathe tool. And this is something you tend to do quite a lot when you're using a lathe. You need to make sure that the height of the lathe tool is dead center with the uh, diameter of the thing you're working on. There's lots of different ways you can accurately set center height. But today I'm gonna to show you a way that you can do it. It's quick and easy and needs a minimum of tools. Now, what I'm gonna show you is not the most accurate way of doing this. There are probably way more accurate ways of doing it, but if you're doing a bit of home machining or something like that, or something where you don't have to be hyper precision, then this works really well, works for me anyway. So what I'll do, I'll quickly show you the technique so you can see what it's all about. And then after that, we'll go back over a few things, look at a few ways we can improve the accuracy if we need to, and a few alternate tools you could use as well. So let's have a look. The aim of what we're trying to achieve here in centering the tool height is what we want is for this top edge of the tool here, we want this to be dead center with the center line of the chuck. So the center axis of the chuck, we want the tool, the tip of the tool to be dead level with that in a vertical direction. So if we have the tool too high, then the cutter's gonna actually rub on the job instead of cutting it. If we have it too low, well, that's gonna cause other problems as well. So we want the tool to be exactly in the center or just slightly below is where we want it. So what we need to do is to be able to adjust the height of the tool. And to do that, we're gonna use one of these, a caliper. This is a digital caliper. You could use a dial caliper or a vernier caliper, whatever you happen to have. But chances are, if you're doing lathe work, you're gonna have one of these kicking around. And this one also has a depth feature, which most will have. And that's what we're gonna be using to center our tool. And if you don't have a set of calipers, but you do have a depth mic, then Naturally, you could use a depth mic instead to take the depth measurement with. That'll work absolutely fine as well. So the gist of what we'll be doing is to put a bit of round bar in the chuck. And you want this to be a reasonable size. This is a 16 mil bar, uh, which is just under three quarters of an inch. And we're gonna get a vernier. We're gonna measure the diameter. We're then gonna work out half of that diameter. And then we're gonna set the tool height to be half the diameter. Now, before we do that, we want to make sure there aren't any burrs on the end of the bar that are going to disturb our measurements. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a file and I'm just going to quickly knock any burrs off the end there. So let's do that. Once we've deburred the end, we'll just come in with our calipers and we'll take a measurement of the diameter, although we know it's 16 millimeter bar. I'm getting 15.96 millimeters. So what we'll do is we'll take half of that, 15.96. So we've got 15.96 times 0.5 is 7.98. So we want our tool to be 7.98 millimeters from the top of the bar to the center half the diameter. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring the tool in now and then we'll actually measure that and see where we are. We're looking for 7.98 or lower. Now we bring the tool in, so it's just right near the center, not quite touching the work, but near the center. And then what we need to do is to get our caliper, we'll put the end of the depth probe right on the edge of the tool, and then we'll just bring the calipers down until they just touch the top of the work. Now you wanna try and keep this as square as you can. So we'll do that and we'll take a reading. And I got uh, 7.89 millimeters. So the distance from the top of the work to the top of the tool is 7.89 and it should actually be 7.98. So this is slightly smaller. So the gap at the top is slightly smaller than it needs to be. So that means I need to bring the tool down because basically what I want is say 7.98. I need more distance to get the tool lower, 7.98 or slightly more. So I'm gonna adjust the tool a little bit and then we'll see where we are again. So that's a tool height lowered ever so slightly. Let's measure again and see where we are. So we just put the tip of the depth measure on the tip of the tool, bring it down until it touches the work. And we're at, you see that, 8.08 millimeters. So we're about 0.1 mil below where we need to be. So I'm probably gonna live with that. That would probably do. That's uh, slightly lower than center. 
which is better than slightly higher. So there you go, that's it. That's the process. It's pretty quick and easy and it gets you near enough to where you need to be. So one of the gotchas with this technique is that your lathe chuck probably isn't exactly running true, especially with the three jaw chuck. There's a likelihood that the work is going to have a certain amount of run out. So in other words, as the chuck rotates, the work is going to do this. It, that's exaggerated, but it's going to be running out slightly. In other words, at one point, the top here will be higher and at 180 degrees out, it will be lower. And that can affect this technique. If you're measuring the depth from a, the top of the work down to the top of the tool, then obviously that can affect the accuracy of centering the tool. So there's a couple of ways you can get around that. Now, the easiest way to do that is just to basically take the tool and just turn down the outside diameter of the job until you get a continuous cut all the way around. And then you know it's perfectly concentric and then you can take your measurement and go from there. The other way you can do it is uh, if you didn't want to actually take anything off the OD is we can use a dial gauge and indicate where the run out is. So let's get that set up and I'll show you what I mean. Now I've got a dial gauge set up onto the uh, piece of bar and we've got the highest spot set to just about zero. It's about as good as I can get my kind of 20 quid eBay mag stand to do. Um, engineering on a budget, that's the name of this channel. And we're, we're about zero. Now if I rotate the work, you can see that we got some run out and we've got about 0.14 millimeters of run out. Let's go back to zero. We're about, yeah, so it goes down to about 0 0.1, 0 0.01, up to about or 0.13. So yeah, probably about sort of uh, 0.12 millimeters of run out. And that's gonna affect the sort of the measurement up and down that we were taking before. So if you have that scenario and you don't wanna turn down the end to get it concentric with a the chuck, then all you need to do is set up a dial indicator if you've got one, take it to the high point and rotate it 90 degrees or get it so that the reading is midway um, between the lowest and the highest. And then you can use the technique we said before and with that, the height will be actually at the right height. That'll take account of any run out that you've got in your chuck. So I hope you find that technique useful to use. And until next time, thanks for watching.